this and it was just so different. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into except I used to travel a lot through Indonesia and I remember sitting at a bus stop in um, in Sumatra in, in Indonesia and you know, the buses never run on time there so I spent like six hours at this little terminal and it was hot and whatever and all it was playing was this movie which was actually I think it was more than six hours long because it was still playing when I got on the bus and they were like man this film's never going to end and they're really long films and these these men are like having this huge battle scene in this kind of desert and there's all these big sort of boulders around but they're all like throwing these saber swords and doing these twirls and it's all like really heroic and aggressive and then out of nowhere these women jump up from behind the boulders all dressed in their finery and stuff like swaying their hips and you know doing this whole thing and all the men drop their swords and start running after the women and then they chase them back and everyone's forgotten that we're at war here you know and there's this huge fucking life or death situation everyone's just singing and then you cut to the Swiss Alps and like how did she get from that she was just you know and so that was my first experience of Bollywood was there's a, a sweetness to it and a lightness to it that you don't often get in films today and I think Gurinda when you look at her films like Ben like Beckham I think one of the reasons why that story worked so well was that they're very honest the characters are all very honest I think people respond to that and, and reading the script it's very clear that she's attempting the same kind of love story with all obviously the, the Indian element visualizing the, the, the big song numbers and the dancing and the choreography and all these characters. There's so many characters, but in any given time, in any scene, there's there's so much going on. I'm very fortunate in that I don't have a hell of a lot to do in this film from the uh, in the dancing department, which um, I'm very happy about. Um, but from what I've seen, you know, my character more sort of witnesses what's going on. He's more of a spectator. Sort of in a way, grounding the film from the Western is point of view. What what Gurinda's done, which is very clever, she has this Bollywood element, yet with a Western narrative where the, the, the characters are still interrelating throughout the song. It doesn't take you out of the film in a way that Bollywood films tend to do, which I think Westerners find a little inaccessible. Suraj w was very adamant on me learning every friggin' number and every step, and I'm, and I'm there at rehearsals going, I'm not in this, you understand, I'm not actually dancing. No, but it's good for you. It's very, it's very good for your legs. You need to build the strength in your legs. So I actually, I was forced to, uh, to learn the whole, the whole dance number. I'm like, I'm not in it. Come on, lady. And I never know if they're saying yes or no. They do this thing all the time, you know? That's going to be scary. The more Indians we have in the crew, I think, that I have no idea. I'm making it up as I go along right now, but when they're all, they do that nod, and you're like, was it yes or no? I can't. Do you want me to do my line loud? You know, should I do more? Or is that yes? I can't. No, right? I think it means I don't give a shit, you stupid Westerner. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> With Garinda, she's, she's been very supportive and trying to, you know, for me, presenting this character. You know, I was very aware of the responsibility, in a way, to sort of Jane Austen's you know, genius, really. There, of course, my character is, 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 n is very different in that he's American, it's, it's contemporary, so there's a lot of differences, but I, I wanted to sort of pay respect to sort of the archetype of what this character was, although this is uh, ultimately a cultural, cross-cultural love story, it's also about class, you know, and try to make that relevant today when we don't really have the same kind of class system, it's especially not in America. I think it's actually very very smartly done, you know, um, when, when you look at this, it's it's orchestrated in a way that it's designed to appeal to everyone. There's a real sort of innocence and a celebration, which we don't do in, in the West. There's, there's a lot more cynicism. And I think for telling a story, for getting, you know, paying your, you know, ten bucks or whatever and going in and sitting down and just going on this wonderful ride of song and dance and love stories and comedy and, you know, it's, it celebrates life, it celebrates marriage. It's very nice to have that more wholesome celebration of, of love and marriage and, and culture.